Meow. Meow, meow. Meow. Okay, so paws and claws, always fun. So I start this off much like a cat's head. I, you know, I do a circle for a cat's head and I'm starting with a circle for a paw and now I'm kind of getting the, the more general shape of the paw in. And just gentle pencil strokes because I, I do do some erasing. And just I'm kind of measuring my angles there, making sure it connects well throughout the paw. The lines flow evenly. Pick away at it. And notice I, I put new lines in bef before I erase the old ones because I use my the first lines as a guiding line as to where things need to go. I erase after I feel like I got the right shape. And I do a little bit of erasing in between. I use my eraser as a tool just as much as my pencil. And I don't think of erasing as fixing mistakes. I just think of it as part of the process. It's just as much a tool as my pencil or pen is. And of course with pencil we can erase and that's why I usually get my preliminary drawing down with pencil and I've done it different ways. I also like to work in ink because I like the fact that I can't correct so I have to live with my lines and each medium has its its potentials and its pros and cons. It's just a process of exploring really as an artist. Again, I'm measuring my, you know, to make sure the tops of those where the toes connect flows nice. And in with the eraser already. You know, in, in during the drawing, I kind of just get rid of some lines that might otherwise get in my way. But just minimal erasing for now and minimal erasing total really. You got to ask yourself if you're doing a lot of erasing, maybe that's a sign that you want to start over and and just chalk the last one up as practice. It's never lost. It's it's part of the process and in order to draw well, you have to be willing to draw poorly first. And and I even hate to say that because there's no poor drawing. It's it's just all beautiful practice. And this is a kneaded eraser I'm using. And I've been struggling with what kind of medium to use to make videos um, because I use particular mediums when I draw for myself, but when I'm making videos, I need to use something that shows up and that you can see well. So I'm just defining where those paws kind of end, where the toes end. Anyhow about the videos, I'm learning a lot about making videos and it's a separate art all in itself. So if you have any suggestions, please put them in the comments. And also, if there's anything you want to learn about drawing cats, please let me know. And I just like to know who you are and what part of the world you're from and what your cat's name is. And I don't know if there's a spot to put photos in the comments, but if there is, I'd love to see your cat pictures, your drawings, and also just your cats. And you can also join our Facebook group. It is called Cat Drawing Art the Cat Drawing and Watercolor Art Workshop and you'll find the link in the comments. And you'll find other links there too. Other helpful links. You can sign up for our email list. Check out my Etsy shop and also join my just my 
cat group or my cat page on on Facebook you can like that and it's a fun page I'm just getting the feel of what direction I want the claws to go in now and as I make the claws and also the toe lines I'm aiming for rhythm in the drawing going beyond realism adding some rhythm some fun making it art instead of just a copy again here I'm just making sure the toes line up so they look natural you know so we don't have any toes in the wrong in the wrong place in relation to the others we want that nice swoop here comes my eraser again and I recommend you watch this video also um, with the sound turned off because there's a lot to be learned without me talking through it too both are beneficial listening to the narration and also just watching and you'll get more out of it each time you watch it as we do with anything Again, getting the feel of that claw. You know, you'll see me erase my claws a few times and don't ever feel bad about erasing because it's just part of the process. It's part of the learning. If it wasn't working, then get out your eraser. And again, the reason I'm erasing is because I, I'm not getting the rhythm that I want. The flow, I kind of want to make the claws almost look like they're dancing. Because the drawing's got to be interesting instead of just a copy. This is, I've moved to my um, just a, a vinyl eraser um, because I'm just working on just ordinary letter paper here and the kneaded eraser doesn't work super well for that and I'm learning that just using letter paper isn't really working well for my videos either I'm finding I get too much shine on the pencil lines so I need to go back to my good sketchbook paper for all my videos I'm feeling like I'm getting a bit of rhythm and dance there in those claws now. A little bit. Uh, I seem to remember I th you'll see me erase again. Erase the claws. It's a process, one step at a time. And those pads, the toe beans, they're so fun. And getting them right and getting the right rhythm and flow and just getting them to look charming. Um, that's a big aim of mine and, and that's why if I put one down and erase it again, I just haven't got it the way I really want it. And I like to exaggerate the toe beans and a little bit of fluff you know to give the hint of the hair coming around the toe beans if you've never heard them called toe beans before it's a kitty's little paw pads let's get that one in right and the deep burning question is what is right right for you is what's right and if you don't like it the first time, do it again and again and again and again. And with each sketch, 
you are gaining skills and you are becoming a more experienced artist with a repertoire of skills. Repertoire. I never pronounced that word right. You see, I've slowed down and I'm really paying attention to where, what direction I want these claws to go in. Kind of doing a lot of contemplating here of, of what rhythm, how I want the rhythm to be. Always ponder, think about each stroke. Think about each line or mark. See what I've found here with the letter paper is that, um, I, it's hard to really erase without leaving a bit of a mess. And I can do better on good quality sketchbook paper. So I'm sorry if you can't really see it super clearly. I know once I got a few pencil lines on there, they started to get a little bit shiny because of the type of paper I was using. See, there I go again, just gotta get it right. those pads and as I said before I really like to kind of exaggerate the toe beans because they're just so charming I'm starting to really like what it's looking like now go a bit of fluff around the toe bean. And of course a long-haired cat's paw is a totally different ball game and I'm learning about that a lot now because I now have a long-haired cat for the first time in oh I would say it had to be like 40 years at least. Probably 45. She's my baby. She's a special needs baby. And there's a few videos of her on this channel. Her name's Shanti. As you can see, I thought of editing out a lot of my racing and stuff and um, you know just getting from the start to the finish but then I thought I want you to see how messy the process can be sometimes and that's where the real learning happens
This is where it's starting to look a little bit shiny along the pencil lines and I apologize for that. I'm hoping that that won't happen next time because I'll be using the better paper. I hope you can see enough. Really working on improving my videos and I, I'm open to any suggestions. I love it when people suggest and and tell me what it is they want to learn. Or even where in the world you are. It's really cool to hear about where you are. I'm in Canada here on Vancouver Island. And you'll notice that the, the cat paw, you know, it almost looks like a human fist, doesn't it? Because we're as different types of mammals, we're really not all that different. We're all made of the same stuff. And it's just subtle differences that make us different species. So if you curl up your hand into a fist, you know, just have a look and see how similar we are. But we don't have the claws, we just got fingernails. That's all we're doing right now, so there are my supplies. And this is a drawing I did before, and as you can see, the middle paw is the one that we just did, and this is the watercolor I did after. And this is my Rosie. She's gone now.